Oh, what is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be Daisy Vanilla Mod, Season 3, Episode 4. So if you remember in the last episode, I got killed towards the end of it at a mission. If you don't remember that, go ahead and go back and watch that one. It was actually pretty decent. And uh, so this is pretty much just me trying to get all my gear back up and get to the point that I was at originally. I did end up stopping at a barracks building where I found a AK something. Maybe it's a 74 or AK 74U or something. I don't know. I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I just picked it up. It was a gun. But anyways, that's going to be all the setup you guys need for today's video. Remember, if you like it, to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below. Also, if you have not joined our Facebook group, go ahead and do that at YT Tactical Bacon. Follow me on Twitter at YT Tactical Bacon. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so I pretty much told myself that I was not going to like check out any of the towns or anything on my way to the Northwest Airfield, but I just had to. And... Look at that. Oh, I can't carry two guns, can I? Fuck. Alright, that's fine. It's got a long range scope on it. That zombie is... Stuck? Or he's dancing? You okay? Alright, that'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect to find something like that right off the bat. Um, but you know, just like searching around for odds and ends right now, because obviously I died in the last episode. And if you did, if you didn't catch that, you guys can actually go back and watch it. It was actually pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, a backpack would be nice. Um... I suppose matches would probably be good too. Is that a full drink? Yes, it is. But yeah, I really need a backpack because I'm finding a lot of food and drink around, but I am not going to have like a lot of space to put it, so that kind of sucks. There's a bottle. Fuck off, dude. I just want that backpack. I don't have a melee weapon yet either. That's kind of why I'm having to resort to letting this zombie. Oh shit. That's a better backpack. But yeah, that's kind of why I'm resorting to letting that zombie hit me right now. It's because I do not have a melee weapon. Chowder. Come on. I just need to find like a hatchet or something. A hatchet or a crowbar. Hatchet would be preferred. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm finding a lot of food right now. Alright, fuck it. See, my plan is to go to the Northwest Airfield, obviously, because... I don't know, there, there's something in my brain that just tells me that there could possibly be some pretty decent loot over there, and it would be nice to check that out. Plus, so far, I've seen all the missions kind of spawn in the west uh, during this restart, so it's probably going to be worth going over there anyways. Check these houses over here. This is not one that I can get into, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, nope. I know that that one I can get into. I thought there was a barn over here, too. Maybe it's up on one of these hills somewhere. Maybe in the fucking house. More food. I don't think I need more food right now. Yeah, I thought there was a barn over here somewhere. Maybe up on this hill I might be able to see it. Because like I said, a hatchet and some matches. And I think I will be set. Oh, not on this hill. 
Maybe I just have to try the next town. What's over here? Ah, not shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to try the next town, but that was actually a pretty decent find. First uh, building I went into was that one barn. Going to complete and total wrong way. Um, but yeah, the first thing I found was this CZ550 over there in that barn. I mean, like I've said before in previous videos, CZ550 isn't like the best, but it's a somewhat long range weapon. I know you can't go too far with it and uh, have the bullets be as effective. Um, but I mean, overall, it's a pretty decent gun. I don't like the, the whole single shot thing, but what are you going to do? Looks like there's some added military stuff over there in Gorka. Pretty sure that those are my zombies. I mean, I was coming over here, uh, uh, over the hill, and I saw these barns. I noticed this military stuff over here. I'm gonna go check this stuff out. Might actually be worth it. My only major concern is... Only got, what, five rounds in this? Yeah, we got five rounds in this. And... The rounds aren't as powerful as the DMR, so... It is gonna be a pain in the ass if I come across somebody. Might have to switch over to the revolver. Especially for closer range combat like this. You know what, I think once I get into this barn over here, I'm gonna switch to the revolver. The last thing I want is to take a shot at somebody and miss and have them get the upper hand on me. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are probably saying, well, just don't miss. It's not always that easy with me, guys. Sometimes my hand just goes one way and the, and the player goes the other. <laughs> I'm not as coordinated as people that do this all the time, you know? Or even part of the time. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Nothing so far. Come on. Maybe I haven't waited long enough for stuff to start spawning in. Well, here's something. What is that? No. Bandages and some fucking... Some wipes. Oh god, leave me alone, zombies. Alright, uh, maybe that's a somewhat decent place if you're, uh, if you're coming across. Jesus. If you're coming across that area. With like a shit ton of zombies that's been running around for maybe 5-10 minutes. That might be a good area. Uh, long enough to have some loot spawn in. But as far as I can tell... Eh, it's not really worth it. Like, I don't think they've done anything to change the loot tables in the server. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, so don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not trying to point that out as like a negative or anything like that. Um... But the the loot system is very, very vanilla-like, as far as I've been able to tell so far. So, just takes a second to get used to. But I mean, like, I know I'm not going to come across anything too major, too spectacular, or anything like that. <clears throat> Two crossbows in this one barn. I mean, it's probably pretty good, right? Let's see, please give me a hatchet. All I want is a fucking hatchet. Ooh, a machete. That'll work. Uh, let's see, machete. Add the back. 
Machete weapon. Mmm. How you like that, you little bitch? You got shit on you. Alright, so we have a machete. I actually have like a melee weapon now. I mean, I can't like cut down trees, so if I find matches, then I would pretty much have to look for wood piles and hope that that'll work. I mean, this doesn't cut down trees, does it? No, I didn't think so. Um, but yeah, I mean, it probably would be a little bit easier if I had a hatchet. Where's this mission at? Fuck, I'm a lot closer to that mission than I am, uh, Northwest Airfield. And it's a weapon cache, too. Alright, we're going to that one. I don't know how I'm going to do the mission with five rounds of my gun. I'm probably going to have to wait around and see if somebody else will come along and do most of it and then kill them at the end of it, but... I don't know, man. Couldn't end up being a pain in the ass. Okay, so I was at that one mission and I decided to leave that one and go to another mission. Then I realized that I was pretty much all out of, like, shit to drink, so... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be camping out any missions anytime soon until I can find enough shit to drink. But, um, there is a well right there. Where, wait, where was that well at? Where did I see that? There it is, okay. But yeah, I'm going to drink this, or drink from this, rather, and go over to the Northwest Airfield, which is where I should have just gone from the get-go. And hopefully get some better loot. And don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting to walk out of there with an M107 or anything like that, but... I don't know. It'd be nice to come across like a DMR or something like that. I probably should check this barn up here. Because now that I've got matches... It would be a lot easier to start fires and cook food if I had a hatchet. Well, not necessarily to cook the food. Oh, look at that. There's another well right there. I don't know if I can use that one or not. Fucking zombies. Follow me. Follow me, zombies. I don't see a hatchet. Something down there at the end. Fuck out of my way, zombie. What do we got here? Oh, the infield. Ammo belt. You son of a bitch. Motherfuckers. I need a hatchet. Where's the hatchet? Oh, no hatchet in there. Alright, fuck it. I'll go to the Northwest Airfield. And find a hatchet there, maybe. Is there anything... in there worth investigating? No. Not that I can see, at least. Luckily, the Northwest Airfield's not too far away. Um, like I said, I would like to come out of there with like a DMR or something like that, but I'm not really expecting to find anything too fancy. Uh, and then the plan after the Northwest Airfield is basically to go all the way back down south towards Electro, because apparently there's a lot of PvP over there too. Um... I waited out at that first mission for, I would say, a good 15, uh, maybe even 25 minutes or so. And nothing really happened, so... I don't know. I mean, there was, like, a few random bursts of gunfire, and then it just, like, stopped for a minute or two, and then it would happen again. And then finally, after, you know, like I said, about 20 minutes or so... It just kind of got to the point where I was like, okay, you know what? I'm laying here. 
There's nothing going on. I'm dying of thirst. My temperature was dropping like crazy. I guess because I was staying in one spot. Um, or maybe it was just where the spot was. I'm not exactly not exactly sure about that, but... We'll come over here to the Northwest Airfield and check it out. Is that the fucking mission I just left? Oh my god. That's the mission I left, like... Maybe 15 minutes ago? It was the one I was at forever. That I was just telling you guys about. So... I mean, I guess if I would've stayed over... I mean... It would've been... 30 minutes of me laying there waiting for somebody to finish it, so... And I guarantee you whoever finished it... Probably at least died once and came all the way back to get all their shit. Like, that was the kind of thing that I was looking at, or not really looking at, but just like going over my head. Like, this guy is spending a lot of time doing this mission, so I don't know if I would exactly kill him. I think I might just let him take whatever he wants and then just pick up, like, the scraps that he left behind, essentially, so.